Hi, uh, my name's Dale. Uh, welcome to my studio. You know, if you uh, want to learn how to paint, if you want to understand painting, if you want to, you know, develop your own style as a painter, um, if you want to progress much more quickly um, as a painter and become and be, you know, much less frustrated in your painting journey, then I think the single most powerful understanding that we can get about painting is to really understand the four fundamental elements of painting. And it's quite incredible that all paintings that have ever been painted, uh, right from the earliest cave paintings to the most contemporary paintings being painted right now today, all paintings are made up of just four fundamental elements. And those elements are shape, tone, colour and edges. And just to be clear what I'm talking about, if we look at this, uh, this painting here, we can see that there's a shape, there's the shape of the background, there's the shape of the t-shirt, there's you know, the sh overall shape of the head, the shape of the hair. So there's shapes, there's tone, um, which is just the lightness or darkness, the value. Um, so there's the tone of the background, there's the tone of the face, the light side of the face, the dark side of the face, um, the, the, the darker shadow and the lighter light on the t-shirt. So shapes, tones, um, there's color. Um, obviously we've got different colors sort of neutral grey, peachy pink, bluish eyes, colours. And then the, the other um, element, which is probably the least understood and the most overlooked, is edges. So we've got shapes of tone and colour, and in between the different shapes, we have edges. So, for example, between the hair and the background, there's an edge. And that edge is very different in character from some other edges, perhaps the edge of the t-shirt against, against the neck. Um, everything has a shape and everything has an edge. So the sh this shadow has a shape and the shadow has an edge. It's as though shape and tone and colour and edges are like the scales in music or they're like the grammar, right, in language. You know, um, if, you, if you really understand them, you just understand painting on a whole different level. Um, you, can, you can much easier um, understand and appreciate all paintings, actually, not just your own. But even in a single painting, um, you, can, you can understand when something goes wrong. Um, there's nothing more common than to start a painting and be relatively happy at, at, at some point with where you, where you are. And then to, you know, paint for a few more hours and suddenly you know, you've sort of lost it, the painting's just lost, and, 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 and it's very frustrating, particularly I mean, in the beginning, you just really don't know, one minute this, the painting's looking great, the next minute it's just sort of mush, and, and you don't quite know why. But if you really understand shape, tone, colour and edges, um, it, it's always a question of what have I lost? You know, what have I lost? If, if, if I've lost the painting, what exactly has happened? Have I lost my shapes? Um, often in a still life, you know, your shapes will get out of, or in a portrait, of course, you know, your shapes will, will creep out of kilter. Is it my shapes? Have I lost um, um, something to do with my tones? You know, have my shadows got too light or too dark? Have my lights got too light or too dark? Is there enough difference between my, the tone, my lights and my darks? So are my tones okay? Um, it could be that um, the edges, how are my edges? If my edges are too soft, I don't, there's no difference between light and dark. If they're too hard, the painting has, a, has no atmosphere, no believability, no form or, or, or sense of three-dimensionality. So understanding shapes, tones, colours and edges, I think is really the most empowering way uh, to learn how to paint, to improve your painting. Um, to, to advance it uh, much quicker and also to start to get an understanding of what you love as a painter. Um, so you can understand any painting, um, you can understand your own paintings much better and you can certainly have a more empowered, less frustrated 
um, and, and, and a journey through your own painting by really getting a handle on, on shape, tone, colour and edges. And if you're interested in that and you'd like to learn more about it, I have a, a, an entire painting course, uh, you know, sort of 15 hours uh, of, of, of theory and demonstration that's um, on my website, dalerodespaintings.com. You can find uh, the link um, after this video. And, um, you know, check it out. But I think it's a, it's a really great way of, of understanding not only our own paintings, but all paintings. Um, if you found this interesting, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, there's going to be plenty more about uh, painting on this channel.